feels like Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> More than 19 years now, I should upgrade that. So uh, tell me your name and what car club are you here with today? Well, my name's Jim Barbeauty and okay. I live here in Central Florida. I'm a transplant from upstate New York originally. That's where the truck came from. And uh, I'm with uh, Central Florida Corvair. And uh, this is my pride and joy. It's a 62 ramp side that uh, was found in a farmer's field in upstate New York. Uh, my buddy and I saw it. We went out in the field and it had sat in that field so long that there was a tree growing up in the back where the engine used to be. It had about eight inch in diameter. We had to cut the tree down to move the truck because there was no engine in it. But it's starting to show her age now, but I'll take her anywhere and do anything with it. There you go. Both my sons were brought up on Corvairs and both of them took their driver's test on Corvairs. Woohoo! I don't know what else you would like to know. I, <laughs> Corvairs are like Lay's potato chips. Bet you just can't have one. Okay, so I, I, have, six of, I have six of them right now. I'm trying to avoid that temptation myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I got a 64 Spider that will go very reasonable, convertible, with a rebuilt engine in it. It needs to be put back together. But if anybody's interested in that Spider, just let me know. Mm. Well, you're about to become moderately famous, so well, who knows what might happen. Well, that's fine with me, because <laughs> I'm telling you, the Corvair, is, I can tell you stories about when I used to go hunting up in upstate New York, and the guys had the four-wheel drives, and they couldn't get up the hills we had to to get up where the hunting camp was. We put all the gear in the back of my old truck, and we were right up the hill with that Corvair. There you go. Yep. They're wonderful, wonderful rigs. They just didn't get a chance to come into their own. There you go.